Hi, well in this film I'm going to do some de-rusting. Now I have put a film up before on de-rusting blacksmithing tools using a wire wheel. This time I thought I'd go for a slightly more precision approach. And I picked up, you know how it is, you tour the old chunk yards and I got this old milling hold down set. It was just lying there in the mud and I thought, oh, that's quite nice, but it does look rather rusty. So I'm going to try de-rusting by electrolysis. Sounds a bit techy, but actually it's very simple. And all you need for de-rusting by electrolysis is a washing soda, soda crystals, and you just need a couple of tablespoonfuls in a pot. So I've got a plastic beaker and I've just put in some hot water, ordinary just tap water, and I've dissolved, as I say, a couple of tablespoonfuls of the soda crystals. So that's my electrolytic bath. Sounds very posh, doesn't it? And then for the electric current side of things, I'm just using a standard battery charger on a fairly low setting. And the other thing you need is a sacrificial electrode. <laughs> and all that is, it's just a bit of old iron bar, a rusty old nail, any old bit of ferrous metal. Probably best actually not, not to use stainless steel um, and not to use a zinc coated item. But if you just use ordinary soft iron, anything like this old bit of bar will do the job perfectly well. And then the item I'm going to have a go at de-rusting is this bolt. And that goes on the negative electrode. So the sacrificial component goes on the positive, the item you want to de-rust on the negative electrode. And just a couple of things about safety here. Obviously, if you're working with electricity outside, make sure you've got a circuit breaker and protection there. Suggest you wear gloves, probably have some survive protection because the, the washing soda isn't the nicest stuff and it can irritate some people's skin. So just be a bit careful on that front. Anyway, let's get on the way. It should now bubble away <laughs> and start to do its job. And I don't know how long it will take actually, it may be about 20 minutes, but it'll be a matter of trial and error really to see how quickly it does it. And just to say the electrics here, I've got them all on a circuit breaker just because they're outside, just for safety. Well, it's definitely making a nice bubbling sound and I can see little bubbles rising and there's a hissing of a gas. So it's certainly doing something. Doing this outside because of the hydrogen gas that's being given off, so best not to do it indoors. And um, this method, I gather it's used by the Historical Tool Trades Association. And they use it because it doesn't actually take metal off, it just removes the rust. So from a sort of conservation point of view, it's quite good. I mean, I'm not saying it's proper conservation, but in terms of just wanting a tool to use it and not destroying its character too much, it's, it's a good method. So we'll see what the results are, but at least it's certainly doing something here. Right, well that's now had about 20 minutes. So I'm going to disconnect the power and have a look. The power's off. The power's off. And just taking the electrode out. <laughs> just giving it a wipe. And crikey. <laughs> that is very good indeed. Just to show you a comparison, That's like a before and after. So it doesn't actually remove the pitting on the tools, but it does get all the rust off. And that makes that a perfectly functional milling hold down. I'll just give the nut a quick wipe over and just see if it will now go on the thread. And yes, there, I think there's proof that the rust's come off there. Well, having had the success with the earlier de-rusting using the little pot, little Tupperware pot, I thought, right, let's upscale it industrial. So I've now got a bucket here and um, a couple of electrodes in here as before, so the sacrificial positive electrode and a few more items now on the negative. So we'll see how this goes, but being a bigger bucket, it's easier to work it all through. And I'm carrying on de-rusting those milling hold down clamps. Well, this bucket approach is certainly working very well and just been cleaning off periodically. Look at that, the electrode. That's the sacrificial electrode. All that muck on there. And I keep sort of grinding this, but this is all the sort of rust debris and what have you. So this really, really is 
doing the job. In fact, I think that's now so black, I'll probably just run the grinder up and down and make a nice good contact. But um, the components, I've been, I put them into a bit of netting actually, and just trying to do them on bulk underneath the water. And I think that's sort of working. So I may need to do a few of them separately, but they certainly are de-rusting and the water is beginning to go a browner colour. So I'll carry on and see how it goes. Well, here are the finished tools. And as you can see, they've come up really very well. I should just say these nuts are new nuts. So <laughs> the bright chrome ones are new, but here's one of the old ones. I mean, they're running on their threads perfectly well. And these are all now perfectly usable tools. So they'll be very good for some lathe work. And um, even these nice blocks, look at that. I mean, that's pretty well good as new, really. Perfectly usable. So as I say, very pleased with that and very good for doing finer tools. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching.